Is there a plan by the GOP to cut Social Security and Medicare? Or to cause a financial crisis? Oh yes, and I bet most of you haven't heard about it. So if you're not really planning on voting in this year's midterms, sit down and give me a couple of minutes of your time. Hola, I'm Silvia and I'm here to help you feel less overwhelmed by the news and better informed through easy to navigate content. People have been asking for Medicare to be able to negotiate drug prices with pharmaceutical companies. This is something that 83% of people are in favor of. And now this is possible. How? Thanks to a bill passed by the Democrats in Congress and the Biden administration, the Inflation Reduction Act. This bill also puts a limit to certain drug expenses, including the cost of insulin. This is great. He needs insulin. He'll die if he doesn't get it. You know what else is important for most people in this country? And I'm talking 85% of Republicans and 90% of Democrats? Policies that would prevent people with mental illnesses from purchasing guns. Or another one, requiring background checks on private gun sales and gun show sales. That one has an approval from 70% of Republicans and 92% of Democrats. And guess what? Climate change is another big issue. That same bill that lowers the cost of some prescription drugs also invests $369 billion in climate solutions and environmental justice. I'm not going to give you a point by point list of everything it includes, but if you want to know, I've included the link in the description for this video. But let me give you two examples. It includes $3 billion for community led projects in areas that experience the disproportionate impacts of pollution and climate change. Also, it has $60 billion allocated for manufacturing solar panels, batteries, and other clean energy technologies, all made in the United States. So that's all great news, right? Now you're wondering, Sylvia, I don't get it. What is the problem? Sit down, my dear friend, porque la cosa se podría poner muy fea. Things can turn really ugly. Republican leaders have told us what they plan to do if they get a majority in Congress. And it includes cutting programs like Social Security and Medicare. No, he doesn't have Medicare, Medicaid, or AFL. You heard that right. Senator Rick Scott from Florida, he's a Republican, wants to sunset all federal legislation in five years, and he says that Congress will reauthorize it if it's worthwhile. What is he talking about? Well, it means that every five years, Congress will have to vote to reauthorize Social Security and Medicare, or they will end. Let me repeat that. The Republican budget plan is proposing that Congress vote every five years to reauthorize Social Security and Medicare. But wait, there's an even better proposal. Wisconsin Republican Senator Ron Johnson, who by the way is up for re-election this year, is going even further. He's proposing moving Social Security and Medicare out of mandatory spending, which is protected, to discretionary spending, which has to be reapproved every year. So that makes these programs more vulnerable to cuts or getting eliminated. And most recently, Bloomberg reported that if Republicans gain a majority after the November elections, they are warning that they will refuse to raise the debt ceiling and use that as leverage to force cuts to Social Security Medicare, and other social safety net spending. Let me say it another way. Republicans in the House of Representatives are threatening to force the United States to default on its debt and set off a global economic crisis unless Democrats agree to the cuts to those programs. Raising the debt ceiling allows the country to pay the bills it already has. This is not a blank check for the future. Congress has been raising the debt ceiling for the past 40 years. Oh, also, Republican leaders are saying that those Trump tax cuts for the wealthy and corporations that they passed in 2017, remember those? Oh yeah, they want to pass a law to make those permanent. And what do economists say about that? They say that it would increase inflation. I don't know what you think about this, but I don't want the world to go into a financial crisis. I don't want to give tax cuts to huge corporations and billionaires while we, regular people, actually pay our fair share of taxes. 
I don't want programs like Social Security and Medicare to get cut. What I want to see is more news like the one from a few weeks ago. I don't know if you saw this, but hearing aids are now available over the counter and that has lowered their costs by as much as $3,000 per pair. Social Security and Medicare are on the ballot this November. Put it on the ballot, I'll vote for it, okay? Democrats are not going to cut Social Security or Medicare. That's not part of their plan. Democrats are going to work on more solutions to fight climate change, lower healthcare costs, and pass common sense gun safety laws. If you want to know more about the candidates on your ballot and if they're pro-choice, if they're endorsed by gun sense voter, or if any of the candidates on your ballot deny the legitimacy of the 2020 election, I made you a spreadsheet. Everything you need will be right there. So remind everyone you know about the importance of voting in this year's midterm elections. And if you found any of this information useful, don't forget to give this video a like. And I'll see you again next week.